What's going on guys? I'm making a video regarding the Boston software, a review for the 642-832 troubleshoot exam, the Cisco exam. Okay, many of you have used Packet Tracer, all other, even like Cisco equipment. Some of you can't even afford it. So, I sure I didn't, I didn't come out and pay any you know, Cisco devices to for my exam for my Cisco exam. So I decided to buy the Boston exam and give it a try. And let's see if this is even worth for you guys to even buy. It costs about $119. So once you get this screen here, just click load. You got total, if you click on custom exam, you got about total 27 questions. Okay, so if anybody out there like for me to send you the questions, I have no problem with that. Practice questions. All you need to do is reply and let me know. Anyway, do you get a random exam, which is gives you nine total questions, and the custom exam, which is 27 questions. So if you click on the random, and you have the study mode, simulation mode gives you 135 minutes. So study mode, no minutes, simulation mode, minutes. Just click on begin. This is just gives you an idea of the questions, okay? And then just up to do just keep next when you launch it, gives you dra drag and drops, okay? This is what I used for my exam in the question. It really helped me out. You launch the simulator, okay? This is the main troubleshoot assessment, okay? You get 12 ticket and it's a for the Boston 12 ticket okay you got a layer 2 IPv4 layer 3 IPv6 layer 3 topology so for the exam I remember there was two questions okay and every question for the tissue exam gives you gives you the same questions so basically all you gotta find out is three things which is three question per trouble ticket which is one What's the problem? Where is the problem? And what's the solution? Okay, so 12 ticket, find out what's the solution, what's the problem, and the whole thing. Okay, so for this exam, you really gotta know how to troubleshoot. Cisco really did a good job on that. So, I know on YouTube, there's other videos that gives you a better idea how to, more information about the exam. But anyway, let's continue here. Like I said before, layer two, layer three, layer three IPv6. You got router one, two, all the way to five, DS1, DS2, AS1, PS1. So let's go on and click on. Once you click on it, ticket two to 12, the remaining ticket is grayed out. And you see right here, that means you're, that's the current ticket, okay? So once you hit next, next board and submit, you what you could do, you continue and will automatically be available. So anyway, a lot of people do it different way. You could either go by writing down once you go on the exam, get your notepad, write your information down on it, find out what's your trouble ticket location. What's the problem? Write it down. And what some guys do is they don't hit submit. Okay, until they find out what's the answers for each trouble ticket. Then they go by each ticket and submit. Another another way to do it is don't submit, go to the next trouble ticket and find out what's the solution. Let's say on ticket one, you don't have no idea what's the problem. Well, you can or board, go to ticket number two and find out if on ticket one matches what's on ticket two. If you have something on ticket one and on ticket two that doesn't match, you might end up finding the answer. 
Okay, so again, there's some more information on on the YouTube for that. Anyway, this is okay. This gives you ticket one gives you the question. So, the network engineer has recently made several changes to your company network. Trouble ticket has been open. Reported that DS two is no longer the active router in VLAN two. Okay, and gives you the question: Which of the fund devices? is the source of the problem so when you click next once let's say r1 you click next which other fun technique is the source of the problem okay for example bgp and the following quad the last question which other fun most likely solves the problem okay but let's just try to find out you go to top of ticket one click on ipv4 okay now and IP before, and this is, and you have the BGP, okay? You have EIGRP, which is EIGRP1. You got NAT, okay? You have DHCP, okay? You have HSRP, okay? The DSC1, DSC2, routers, one, two, three, four, and five. Layer two, okay? You have PC1. Followed by Ether channels, trunking devices, HSRP. Okay, so then IPv6 is followed by OSPS version 3, area 0, area 10, tunneling, area 20. Okay, so to start off, we're going to go to layer 3 topology. You're going to go to PC1. The first thing to troubleshoot is. IP config, IP config, you see it, out of habit, I like to paint the default gateway, okay, great, so if you can paint the default gateway, meaning layer 2 topology, layer 2 devices are okay, you can continue on with layer 3, by you pinging this, having successful connection to the default gateway, gives you an idea that Layer 2 is okay. So, in this case, you could either do a trace route or you could just pin each device until you can no more. Okay? So, from this point, let's just, con let's just for example, 192.168.113. I'm pinging router 4 zero, zero Ethernet. I can ping it. Can I ping the other side? Oh, yes, I can. Let me see. Can I ping? Can I ping 9, router 3? Yes, I can. Can Now I'm going to EIGRP. Can I ping router 3.0 interface? So 182.168.1.6. Yes, I can. Can I ping all the way to the one that one? Yes, I can. So from this point on, all you have to do is continue pinging. Oh, one twenty three thirty five six seven nine zero. So you can continue pinging all the way. Now, if you continue pinging all the way. In this situation, the what best thing to do is do a trace round helps you out. Most likely the problem is in router one. But you get the problem. You get the idea. So do I recommend this? Yes I do, because it gives you the actual topology of what it really looks like for the exam. Okay, so if you guys need more information about the software, if you guys need the questions, want the question, I can actually send it out to you guys. So all you have to do is reply to the video and let me know. And again, I do do recommend this Boston software. It costs about $119 in the Boston.com. Just let me know what you guys think. Good luck to your exam.